morning, everyone, and welcome to another Live with Blitzy, where we like to share some of our favorite products, some project demos, and we like to have a little fun as well. We do. I'm super excited for today. We have a lot of great products to share with you. Megan's been super busy getting it all prepped, so you're going to love it. We've got some mixed media. We've got some tools. We've got some That's sprays, right. so you're going to love it. And before we get started with all of that, I want to celebrate something. What are we celebrating today? We reached over a million views on our YouTube channel. So Yay! a little milestone. If you're not following us on YouTube, make sure you're joining in on that fun. It's youtube.com slash blitzycrafts. Over a million views now. That's We're awesome. Putting videos out every single day. And I'm sure you guys have seen some of them if you're here on Live with Blitzy. But That's right. That's we right. have a lot of fun making them. And hopefully you guys are already subscribed. But if not, head on over there. Let's check in with Emily. She's manning the chat. You guys can talk with her throughout this Ask Questions. And she will relay that all to us. So Emily, how's it going? It's good. Um, got some people here already. It sounds like Maggie B is letting me know she was one of our winners, I guess, Almost two weeks ago when Ken Oliver was here, she got her artwork in. Um, people are really loving your pink and your blue today, Megan. It's so perfect for the boy and the girl. That's right. Um, I'm handling them both today. <laughs> I'm excited for our video at the end. It's really cute, so I can't wait for everyone to see it. Yes, awesome. super cute video at the end. You're not going to want to miss. It has a special furry friend in it. So. The furry friend is being exceptionally cute at the end. I have, I'm have. i just going to give you that so you pay attention <laughs> towards the end because the end is just really, really cute. So, But first, let's start yeah. with Scrap Perfect. Okay. Is that what we're going to yes. do? The best so, one ever. We've had some of the um, Scrap Perfect products before, and they're up again. Um, I demoed them, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. Um, Pretty much everything they have is amazing. Lots of different uses for them. They kind of make your crafting, your you know scrapbooking, paper crafting, so much easier. But last time I did not have the best ever glue, but I have it now. So I wanted to show you guys why this is named the best glue ever. So what's great about this glue um, is that it works you know, obviously with paper, but it works with other mediums as well. So you can use it on wood, you can use it with fabric. And I'm actually gonna show you, I just have a little piece of paper here, card here, and it works on fabric, and it also works on ribbon, and it's not going to seep through. So some other glues, you know, you put on your, your fabric or your, um, your ribbon, and then it seeps through, and it just gets all gooky and gross and nasty, and this, I kind of got a little overzealous there, but you don't really need a lot. This glue goes a long way, so I'm just going to kind of dab that. So um, it's liquid, and it goes on white. It, exactly. So it goes on white, but it dries clear. So you can just glue that to you know, any project you have, and you can see there like no, no seeping through Let me the other that. side. Yeah, and like no bubbles. Yeah, so that's awesome. So you can use it like I said with your ribbons, any fabrics that you want to add. Um, you can also you know use a punch or even your die cuts. You know punch out a piece of paper, die cut, add a little bit of glue to the back. Once again, you don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way, which is awesome about this glue because I know. A lot of us, we get a little crazy with the glue, but this glue will last you a very long time because you don't need a ton of it. So we can glue that on. And one of my favorite things about this glue, you guys, is that you can create, let me find it here, your own glue dots. Oh. So these are already dry. And what I do is I just used, um, the release from a sticker pack here. So any, you know, we all have stickers, right? So like just the backing. The backing part, yeah. right. So if you have that, save it because you can create your own glue dots. And all you do is just take the tip here and just make a little dot. I had no idea. Yeah. Obviously, you can make it larger depending on how big you want it. These are already dry here. And so you can take, you know, a button or whatever you want, whatever is going to need a glue dot, and you just stick it on the back there, peel it off, and you have your glued. Oh my gosh, that's so yes. cool. So you're gonna do one. So that's awesome. So you can create your own glue dots, which is kind of a game changer to ask me because you can create any size you need. So instead of buying a bunch, you're like, okay, I know I'm gonna need a small one, a large one. You can have to wait for it to dry. Um, these are obviously wet, but once it's dry, you have your own. That's glue really dots. cool. Yeah. So I just have one in my hand here. You can see that it's just like a regular old glue dot and yeah. it's tacky there, mm -hmm. so it's gonna, and will this last a while? Yeah, I mean, once you, I mean, once you adhere it, it should be. I mean, you can see. Look at them. 
That's so I'm cool. using my muscles here to really kind of flail that, and it's not going anywhere. Imagine how many glue dots you can get out of this. That's what I'm saying, right? <laughs> That's so cool. And since it has this really fine tip, too, it's also really cool. Um, I'm just going to put a piece of paper here. You can um, add glitter, too. So you just make a little dot if you want, or you can do a little you know, smiley face. And then you can just take your glitter. And you can add glitter right to that, and it will dry. Dry like dimensional yeah. glitter. Yeah. So oh. we'll add a little glitter to that. I'm telling you, this glue is really the best ever glue. Our best glue ever. We've got the best ever glue. I know, ever, right? And the best glue ever. So see how fun that is? That's oh, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I just made a smiley face. But yeah, so lots of things you can do with this glue. Um, and like I said, since a little bit goes a long way, especially if you're you know, actually adhering you know, paper to paper, um, it's going to last you a really long time. So you're not going to go through it, you know, quickly like you do with other glues. This one's going to last you a long time. So They also have the best cleaner ever, which yep. you can clean your stamps with. They have the Embelly Jelly. Oh, my God, yes. They have so many cool, just like kind of yeah. obscure products yeah. that are really helpful in your everyday crafting, especially in paper crafting. Mm -hmm. um, the emboss embossing pouch. Yes. To help, you know, dry your pigment inks quicker, to kind of de-static your surfaces before you emboss. Um, and one other thing I want to mention too, that the Embelly Jelly is awesome for all of your small little, um, you know, sequins or beads, and they, per they pair perfectly with the best glue ever because you can glue your sequins, you can glue your beads, any small things you have, use your belly jelly, grab it, add your best ever glue, best glue ever, and then glue it to your surface. So those two are a definite match made in heaven. So I just think that, that the glue. glue dot thing is right? kind of, kind of amazing. Awesome? I've never seen anything yeah. else. Never heard of any other glues that you can do that with. No. So that's pretty cool. Emily, has anyone awesome. used the best glue ever, or are they liking it? What's happening? I'm so glad that we had a chance to sell these products again and show them, because I know we've shown them before on Live with Blitzy, and they've been really popular. I was like, oh my god. Um, people are definitely loving this glue, loving the making your own glue dots. As crafters, that's obviously something you're buying and need all the time, and this allows you to make your own sizes and make them whenever you need. Um, there was a couple questions. First, does it dry invisible? Yes, okay. it dries clear. Mm -hmm. And then for making your own glue dots, does that, like, do you let them just sit and dry completely, or yeah. how does it work? Yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure that they're completely dry. Um, and it depends on how, how big you're making them, how kind of thick you're making them. I could see when I did mine, I'll pull it back out here. You can see, whoops, I did kind of a pretty pretty big one and it's pretty thick, so that's gonna take a little while to dry. Um, if you know you're gonna need these, I would, especially the bigger ones, I would do it and just let it sit you know, overnight just to make sure they're totally dry. Just cause, like I said, obviously, depending on how thick and how big you're making your glue, your, uh, glue that's going to take a little bit longer to dry. So. But it will maintain this tackiness yeah. for a while. Yeah. yeah this, these you Whoops. did this morning. They're still... I did these very, actually yesterday. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Very tacky. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I guess... Maybe you, I did those two days ago. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. But these, obviously, I just did. So those are going to take a little while to dry. But like I said, you pretty much can get everything you need out of one bottle of glue. So yeah. all of your crafting needs right here in this one bottle. And you can see, I don't know with the camera if you'll be able to tell, but you can see that it's dry. It's a different color yeah. than mm -hmm. when it's wet. So mm -hmm. you can, by the eye, you can see, and then you can just kind of like yeah. tap it and see if it's yeah. ready to go or not. And what's great is once it is dry, it's very flexible too. So it's not gonna crack. So I'm telling you. That's Best amazing. glue ever, make sure you guys I truly it had no idea that that's what you were gonna show us. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Right? And I, there, I think if you actually go to those, there's a few other fun little things it can do, um, which just once again add to its name of being the best glue ever. So yeah. Make so sure we've linked it, it below. If you guys want that, make sure you add it to your cart. And we're going to move on to the next subject, which is Ranger Dina Wakely Mixed yes. Media Products. Megan's been getting her mixed media on. You know I'm trying. Claudia <laughs> has too. So we'll have a few videos for you guys coming up later today. But... What do you have here okay. that you're going to show us? So this is actually the canvas board um, from Dina Wakely. And I've cut mine down. Um, I know we have, I think, maybe two different sizes on the site right now. There's a mixed pack, and then yeah. there's a 9x12 9 9 pack, 12. and you get three boards in the pack. Yeah, so this was actually from the 9x12 set. Um, 
And what's great is you can cut these down so you can use them for bookmaking, for journal making. Um, and I just used my little guillotine uh, cutter to cut these down. So I just made a smaller, um, a smaller shaper. I didn't want the big, the big nine by twelve, so I can cut it. So it's nice if you want to get the bigger sheets. If you have smaller projects in mind, you can cut them down to whatever size you want. So there's this, and like I said, it's canvas and it's on a chipboard. So the back is a smooth. Um, smooth surface where this you can see is canvasy so it has that canvas texture yeah um, and then I have here her bullseye stencil which is perfect for mixed media and any other you know home decor projects you want to do I love the design and I think we actually linked this one right below yes. but there are a bunch of new stencils mm -hmm. from her that we have on sale yeah. right now so check out that event because there's bound to be one that you guys like and maybe more because there's a lot of really cool designs especially if you are a mixed media artist lots of really cool designs to choose from oops and then I'm also going to use um, the permanent mixed media um, ink palette and this is permanent waterproof when it's dry so you can use it with your um, watercolor you know markers etc and it's not going to um, compromise the actual ink and you get four colors you get this really pretty blue kind of I think they're calling it ocean tangerine ruby and night so you get the four palette which is nice you mm -hmm. can work with all four and then I'm just going to do let's do a little red here I'm going to stencil ruby red ruby red I'm just gonna kind of stencil there on my on my board. Ooh, it really is right? really Isn't red. Pretty? It's very vibrant. And it goes on really nice too. Like mixed media people out there. This this is me trying mixed media. <laughs> like the great thing about mixed media is there is no wrong way to do exactly. it. That's why you have to keep reminding yourself. I know it always seems like everybody else's looks better, but when I see what you do, when I see what Claudia does, and you guys don't consider yourself mixed media artists, I still think it looks amazing. So yeah, and this like it's just trying it. It's and I know like a lot of it is to people like to layer stuff, which is really cool. Um, and that's what's so great about the mixed media kind of art form is that you know you can just kind of keep keep going and adding things that you think are pretty or that you like until um, you know you find that it's time to stop. <laughs> so that's what I love about this kind of art form is that you stop when you're ready to stop. Exactly. So, all right, so I'm gonna peel that back. Is Carissa here today, Emily? She is. Oh, good. Oh, hi, Carissa. Our, one of our resident uh, creative team mixed media makers. Um, Maggie has said, Carissa, like, inspired me to step more into mixed media. It sounds like we do have a couple people who are wanting to get into that area, but they maybe are a little scared. But that's that's the great thing about mixed media is it, it you can just go just as go. long as you want, go as far as you want, and... You can just stop when you like how it looks. Keep That's on going. Awesome. I'm so glad Chris is here because I wanted to mention that she is going to be at Blitzy next That's week right. on Monday and Tuesday. And we're actually going to do live with Blitzy Monday, Wednesday next week. Switching it up a little. Switching it up a little. So put that in your planners. Monday, Wednesday is live with Blitzy. But Carissa will be live with us on Monday. If there's anything that you guys want to see or any questions that you have for her, make sure you're letting Emily know so that Carissa can be prepared. Get ready, Carissa. Yeah, she <laughs> is our, our expert when it comes to mixed media. I can't wait. She's She's got a lot in store to show you guys so it'll be a lot of fun you can see here i'm just taking another stamp or i'm just taking a stamp putting it in that dark midnight and just kind of you know plopping it down wherever my heart desires to kind of create this fun little mini canvas artwork if you will so that's what's so great about the whole mixed media thing like we said is that you kind of kind of just add until you don't want to add anymore do whatever you're feeling do whatever you're feeling just keep going with it so that's super fun um from dina wakely um the ink pads obviously the art boards are really cool especially if you are into mixed media and you do like to do um, art journaling or making your own books those are perfect for that and then we also have um this mica spray is what people have been asking for so if you haven't seen these yet these are the new mica sprays that yeah. we introduced this year and these are the dina wakely version yeah so this is ruby evergreen and lapis 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 and they have a really cool pearlescent kind of shimmer that they give to projects so i just spray it and i hope you guys can see this i just spray a piece of paper here with that really pretty blue can, we, can you see hopefully maybe try and get the sunlight on it yeah that like pearlescent shimmer that that gives that so so cool I mean the effect of it is just this really pretty blue pearl 
kind of extra that you can add to your project. So you, know, you can start with that and stamp over it. You can finish with it. Um, but yeah, they come in really pretty colors. And this it has the little roller ball in there. Yep. So you wanna, you'll want to shake it up yep. before you use this. And then it'll add a little pearlescent shimmer to mm -hmm. your project. You can let it just air dry or you can hit your heat tool mm -hmm. on it. Which I, I use the heat tool to kind of get this to kind of go a little bit, to dry a little bit quicker. So this is an amazing addition to your mixed media stash. Yes. To have the And you will color. notice if it sits for a while, the color will settle. Don't freak out. That's why the ball is in there. Just give it a nice little shake, mm -hmm. shake, shake. And then you're back in business. And when you do spray it, you can kind of see the little mica pieces that give it that really cool um, pearlescent shimmer. So like I said, hopefully you guys can see that. But this is another really fun product um, from Gina Wakely that you guys need to check out if you are into the whole mixed media craze. So Has anyone had this on their list, Emily? Um, it does sound like a couple of them were asking about the colors and the palette. Um, in the four ink yeah. pad. Krista said that does include one of her favorite colors, night. So mm -hmm. good tip. They're loving the, like really the shine and shimmer from the mica sprays, obviously foil and the shimmers continuing to be a trend this year. So it's so great that we can always get new products that have that. For yes. sure. Yes. So yeah, those are just a few. I know we have um, other stuff from um, Dina Wakely up on the site. And like Katie said, stencils, there's a, a ton to choose from. Mm -hmm. So we, like she said, we've only linked a few below, just what I kind of showed you here. But there's a ton um, on our website. So if you're interested, make sure you check out the entire event because I'm sure you'll find some more goodies that you'll need outside of just these, what, three products or four products. It's hard to not find something that you need, right? You no. Know, and then you just <laughs> add, add, add. And then I always go to my cart and I'm like, no. I add this much? And then you're like, wait, what was that 40% off coupon That's this right. <laughs> Or do I have my credits? Don't forget about your credits. Those are always helpful when it comes time to, you know, checking out and you're like, how did I overdo it again? Oh yeah, I have credits. Perfect. Yes. So, all right. So shall we move along? Yes. Let's go to the okay. next subject, which is clear snap. Clear Stephanie snap. Bernard. We've yes. got a lot of fun stuff that we're going to so show here too. I will start with this stuff or I'll start with clear snap or the, um, the tools. So we have these little stylus tools um, up on the site, and they separately you can buy the little tips here, and these are just the oval tips, and they work perfectly with your color box ink pad. So um, you can see here, you just get your tips, and it comes three to a pack, and the stylus come three to a pack as well, and they just snap right in place, and then when you're done with them, if you want to switch them out, just, oops, just, I'm trying not to get my finger dirty, pop them right out when you're ready to use it again, pop it right back in there. So love these for blending, um, for using with your projects. And I'm actually gonna just do a quick little stenciled number here because they work really well with stencils. And I love the petal ink pad too. I know, right? This is, we have, I think, I think different uh, versions of the petals too, or different color um, palettes of the petals on the site. But this one is, what is this one? Um, I don't know. It doesn't say. It's I'm like pedal point. I think that's the actual like design of it. But anywho, let's see if it says it on the bottom. Another great thing about these um, these little stylus tips here is that they kind of help preserve your ink pad. So instead of just using your ink pad on here, you can just use the stylus tip to. Um, You're getting really good coverage with that thing. Right, right. It goes on really, really nice too. So I'm just kind of blending over my stencil. Are you here. feeling like an expert blender with this? I kind of, <laughs> I kind of am. I've, obviously, I've used other blending tools, and I always feel like I'm not I doing the best. Said, like, I'm not doing very good. Yeah, but this is making it really simple for well, me. I think too, like the the inks are really nice since it's a pigment ink. It kind of goes on a little bit, or it makes me look better. It looks, it makes me look good. I don't know, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I love these because, like I said, they work really well with stencils. You can blend your inks together. Um, I'm sure there's other, oops, other techniques you can do with them, but great. So while this is kind of, while you're doing that, while I was watching you, this kind of was sliding out a little, but mm -hmm. what's cool about these on the petal ink pads is they pull right out. Yep. So you can just work with this color. You can go direct to paper with it if you want, or you can use it with your smaller stamps. You can um, ink directly on your stamp, so you don't have to do it right from exactly, the petal there. Exactly, exactly. But, you know, if, if you want, like I said, if you don't want to, you know, compromise you know your actual stamp you can do that use this to kind of edge and do mm -hmm. all the fun stuff that the petal will do but like i said if you don't have the the little stylus here no big deal you can do the same thing with that or 
if you don't want to ruin your stylus, or I'm sorry, your ink pad, you can use your stylus. So, all right, I'm gonna pull that off. Ooh. So bright, so springy, so Loving fun. the colors, loving how easily you just blended all of that. Right? That's pretty cool. And I think even like the tips are so fun now. They're so bright and colorful. So love those. So that's, um, currently we have the stylus um, handles and then the tips. Three to a pack and then we have the tips. Three to a pack. And we also have the pedal, um, the pedal point up there. I think there's different color variations as well. So loving that. Love that. And then next, because we have, can't stop. We have to keep going, right? We when have, is it ever finished? Know, it's not. Right? You have to keep layering Just keep things on. going. So now we are going to use the Pearl Rain Spray. And this is going to just give it a light pearlescent shine. Because if you can see now, it's obviously very matte, very dull. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to give it a little spritz. Obviously, the further away you go, the lighter the mist is going to be. The closer you go, it's going to be a little heavier. So I'm going right. to do kind of medium distance. Just, whoops. Just a little shine there. Ooh. And then I'm going to heat this. That's really pretty. And you'll see when I kind of... It has to hit the light Love right. This. It has to hit the light right. But once it does... Colorbox Pearl Rain Sparkling Mist Cosmic. <laughs> Cosmic, yeah. Because obviously you have to have that little extra bit of fluorescent shine, and hopefully you guys can see on the camera. Here. Let's see. Whoops. Hopefully you guys can oh, see. Oh, that is super shiny. Do you see? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so hard with this overhead, but there's a really, it has a really fine kind of pearl. Can you see it, Emily? Can you see that at all? Um, I'm not to that part yet. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, let me. See. Can you I'm like? Can you see that? Hopefully, because oh, it's yeah. really okay. You can. I think I can see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see how it's got that little like just little droplets of like just pearlescent shimmer to that. Like I said, you could go as heavy as you want. Maybe I'll do a little bit more so you guys can see. Um, you can go as heavy or as light as you want. Um, if I could get this. It in. does say shake it too, so maybe we we'll get, shake get shimmer, more, shake more shimmer. Let's shake it. Why am I not shaking? Or why am I not? What did I do to the nozzle, you guys? What did I do to the nozzle? I'm like, is it there? Did it turn? I'm like, is there a lock feature on this? There you go. All right, let's see if, there we go. There's a big drop up there for you, so let's kind of do a little. All right. I love that it's called cosmic because it really does kind of give it a yeah. cosmic feel to it. If you did this on black, Ooh. how cool would that be? Maybe we should. That's what I should have done. Do we have black? We things? have we have black chipboard things that we grabbed from the warehouse yesterday. We can see if we can grab one. We'll try it on black. All right, let's see. And you'll really be able to see it. Hopefully, you guys. I don't know. You can still see that, but there's just it just gives that really nice, pretty. It is really pretty. Shimmer. Shimmer shine. Yeah, it's it's going. It's going. <laughs> yeah. It gives that really nice, pretty shimmer shimmer shine that just kind of finishes and completes your project. Like I said, this is pretty by itself, kind of the matte look, but once oh, yeah. you add that shimmer, it just kind of takes it you to the You could just level. add a simple sentiment to that, yeah. and you've got your card. And you're done. done. And how easy was that? And you know, it's just a little bit of blending here, a little bit of blending there, add a little spritz, dry it up, and you're good to go. So, What do people think of this so far, Emily? Um, they definitely love the shimmer and shine. A lot of people are interested. Do you know where that stencil is from um, that you use? I know this we one? have like a lot of, we have so many stencils around here. I don't know if. Um, I don't because it wasn't in its packaging. Mm. Um, it looks like some sort of bubble. I'm sure we can I was going to say, I think it's bubble something. If you can search on Blitzy Bubble and see if you can. Yeah. Because I feel like it looks like a bubble. So I feel like, yeah. <laughs> If you search bubble, something should come up. Bubble stencil? Bubble, yeah. <laughs> I will look for it. Okay. Yeah. And you can see even my hands are kind of get that pretty oh, um, pretty pearl ink, shimmer. Is it permanent when it dries? Um, this ink? Or this? The spray? Uh the no, the clear snap, the color box oh. ink. Um, let's see, it's pigment ink, so I would think I that think so. yeah, once you I mean obviously if you heat set it to it to help kind of just set it in, but should be. Oh, do you have it? I think I, I think I moved it again. <laughs> I thought it was working. <laughs> I know, like I, I we do to our nozzle. I know. I 
I so I think I compromised. Well, it. let's try a different technique. Who do we? Have? Oh, that's maybe maybe we should blend a little. I was gonna do a little. Can we? Oh, look at you! Look at you! Okay, let me put this in the center so you guys can see. Move this out of the way. This okay. is gonna be really cool. Ooh, it's very cosmic looking. Do you see the effect that it's having on this black paper? That's so cool. I'm like, I can't stop. Uh, don't stop, Katie. Keep it's going. A bigger one. Yeah. So see. Look at that. It does feel like a galaxy, you know? Yes. Especially, that's what made me think of the black. It's yeah. Like, let's see how this looks. Okay, let's put right. some heat on there. Let's heat this guy up. Let me figure out what's going on with our nozzle. It's kind of purple. Yeah, here. like it kind of like changed the color to, yeah, like a cosmic, like. That's really cool. Let's see if we can. I'm loving this. Ooh. It's almost like not tie dye, but like, or like bleach effect. You know what I mean? Like that. Watch that come to life. This is why people get addicted to mixed media, because it's like just. The effects that you get Look are that. a little bit addicting. So you're like, oh, what else can I do with that? Or, you guys my can... nozzle's not working. How can I make it work? And you just tap How it on there. How fun is that? Do you guys see that? I hope you can. But it almost looks like it like kind of like almost like how bleach reacts with yeah. like, you know, fabrics and whatnot. It kind of turned into like a really cool purpley look with that really pretty shimmer. Very cool. I think that Carissa recently got the um, black creative journal okay the dilutions black journal that's kind of new i think so this is a really great thing to pair with that love Chris it. Is still here. might want to add this to your list you can try it when you're here next week that turned sure. out really cool what are, are we... people thinking emily do we have any comments yeah it looks awesome um is that a mat board that you used mm. no this is actually just a black chipboard eight and a half by eleven um, we it's paper accents. You can try searching that on the site too. Paper accents, black chipboard. Nice. So and you could cut that down too and use yeah. that for your book making, journaling. Yeah. Awesome. You can die cut it. Die cut it. Yeah. So love it. All right. So moving right along to the Stephanie Bernard um, line here, we have some of her sprays. We have. Let's see. I'll just lay these down for you. These are. Her sprays that come in, well, we have multiple colors, but we just have four here to kind of show you guys. This really pretty tangerine color, strawberry, sky, Ooh. and spearmint. Um, and actually, Claudia, I like the names. I know, right? Spearmint, spearmint strawberry, tangerine. I like them. Just makes me think of summer. Um, Claudia actually kind of thought outside the box instead of using it on, you know, paper or, you know, scrapbooking. She actually sprayed some wooden beads with it oh. and turned it into a key. So there's chain. the strawberry and yep. there's the tangerine. Yeah, so she actually put it onto wood um, to create a really fun little keychain. So, you know, obviously you can add these to your paper projects to add that little extra burst of color, or you can think outside the box and add them, you spray know, spray it on wood. Spray it on wood. Very cool. Yeah, so these are great. Um, let's see, the permanent dye ink. Um, they coordinate with her ink pads, so if you have her ink pads, these will pair perfectly with them. So loving the sprays, and then we also have some of her the ink pads. Ink pads. So let's see how it runs. Immediately when we opened the box of these samples, I was just drawn to these fun right? colors. Very so just cool. okay. fun, happy colors. Right. So these are her premium dye ink pads. And once again, they come in fun colors. We have cranberry, we have that pretty ocean, we have lemonade, and then we have kiwi. And then what's great about these is that the color that you see on the actual um, ink pad itself is true to is the color. true to what oh. you actually get. How fun are those? So you can see, it's, I mean, it's pretty spot on. I'm loving, I don't know why today I'm like red. I'm loving all the reds. Yeah. I like the ruby that yeah. you did. I'm liking this cranberry. Yeah. So. so these are really fun, and then Claudia just did a really quick, cute little card using all um, all four of the colors I love how here. these colors pair together so nicely, right? too. I love that palette. Yeah, so cute. And like you said, the colors are rich, and they're true to kind of, you know, when you when you see a package, like, is it really going to be like that color? These are very true, and you can see you can pair all four together to create a really cute little card. Awesome. So, yeah. And what kind of ink is this? Uh, it's 
the I think it's premium dye ink. Yes. So it's dye ink. Mm -hmm. And then what's great about these what we two, were showing earlier was pigment ink. You guys can see maybe that's a bad color to show. Is that the ink pad is smooth? Do you see how that's oh, yeah. smooth? So it's going to give you a nice true stamp instead of having kind of the texture where you have to kind of hit it a bunch of times and it might you might not this get it any more crisp. Yeah, this, these are super crisp. Yeah, so it's it's they're smooth, unlike some of the other ones that kind of have a more foam base. These are yeah, smooth and on there's top. a lot of detail yeah. in that. So, yeah, and it's all super crisp. Yeah, so love that feature about the ink pads as well. So they have a nice smooth ink pad as opposed to kind of a foamy one that's gonna sometimes give you that like not bubbly effect, but like you know what I mean. Yeah, keep a going. more like kind of distressed. Exactly. Look. Exactly. Do we have any questions, Emily? Um, we did have someone say, I don't know if we have any questions yet, love these new colors, but they're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Eat all the fruit. I know, right? They, they kind of make me thirsty for like a, like a slushy or something. This one, I want a lemonade. I know, right? I'm like, like a slushy, like someone. Could it be someone? Anyone? I know, like someone, anyone, slushy, thanks. Slush. <laughs> Support team, slushy, thanks. Um, so yeah, so we love these colors. Um, what do you guys, what are, what's everyone thinking, Emily, people, besides wanting to, you know, go eat something? Are they liking the colors? Do they have these? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen that anyone has had them yet and had a chance to try them. They're really great for spring. I love the cute little card you made with them. This was Claudia. Oh. How cute is that, right? It's adorable. Road trip. It's so little camper, little vintage little camper. So cute. Like I said, so clever. all four colors look really good together. So we have a lot more on the site to choose from, but these are the four that we just had on hand, but there's a ton um, up on the site that you can choose from. So Are these water-based? Um, no, I don't believe so. I don't know. No, I don't believe so. It doesn't say on here. No, it's well, I don't think you so can. Though. You can use them um, with glossy and coated papers, you can use them with your rubber, um, your clean, and your clear stamps. But, um, no, I don't believe these are water based. All and right, want to move on? We have what do we have next? Uh, we, we have, have the, the cute, oh, no more demos. Now it's fun, it's time for that cute video cute that we video. were talking about. I don't know if anyone, I think we released it yesterday, yes. so a couple of you might have seen it already, but if you were here on Tuesday, we did a segment with Adrienne from our creative team, and she was showing Impress Art and Stamping Jewelry, so we were having some fun with the stamp jewelry here this week, and Claudia made our new Blitzy dog, the most adorable dog oh tag, God. so yeah, she'll make an appearance at the end, so take a look. But B, little Penny Lane. Yes, Penny Lane is. <laughs> she made her video oh debut. Gosh. She's so cute. I think I watched that video yesterday like ten times. So just because I wanted to see her little tail wagging oh my God. at the She's end. She's like so happy that she has her new custom stamped tag. Yes, Molly got one too. All the Betsy oh, dogs got, got one. tags. Oh yeah, so Molly's wearing her little tag now so cute. as well. So the Impress Art tools and letters and all of that is still on sale right now. So make sure you check out that event. Emily, what do people think of the video? Um, how could they not love that video? <laughs> She's too cute. I also watched it like before, just when it had been uploaded to our YouTube channel, but we hadn't published it or anything. We just sent it out to our staff. I think it had like 50 views before we uh, made it public because <laughs> all of us just kept watching it over and over. Um, yeah, she's too cute. She's adorable. I wish she was here with me as she has been in the past, <laughs> laying on my table. I don't know. She's getting bigger. She I know. She <laughs> yeah, not fit like yeah. anymore. <laughs> so we posted that on our Facebook page. If you want to help somebody else smile today, make sure you share it onto your Facebook page because I think people will love so to see her little tail wagging at the end. Happiest little dog that she got our custom little tag. 
So, so one more reminder, next week we are going to be live on Monday morning at 10 a.m. and Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. instead of our regular Tuesday, Thursday. So make sure you're yeah. keeping up to date with that. We also started a Facebook page that's just dedicated to Live with Blitzy. So if you want to know our schedule when we're live here, when we're live on Facebook, when we're live on Periscope, if you just like the live interaction, you'll definitely want to like that page. Um, right. We'll put a link for that in the chat as well. I don't know if Emily has it yet, but we'll, we'll find it for you. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it for today. We'll see you guys, I guess, on Monday then for another Live with Blitzy. See you Monday.